get, getting back to the EHR, what do you think the future of the EHR is? I mean, do you think it just sort of goes into the background, acts as a repository, it does its transactional work great within the health system itself, it is opened up via fire, uh, or do you think there's going to be a new, like ground up something that we're going to see in maybe the next five years or so? Have you spent time with Don Berwick? I have not. He, yeah, so he was our CMS administrator, but he founded something called the Institute for Healthcare Improvement, the IHI. And Don would use the term, sometimes you engineer a system to achieve exactly the result you got. <laughs> <laughs> now let's think about what we did during the Meaningful Use era. I mean, I was part of that, right? We said, oh, well, we want to do population health, we want to do immunizations, and we want to do quality. And what we ended up with is a set of requirements that required every physician at every encounter to record 141 pieces of information while seeing the patient, making eye contact, and being empathetic. <laughs> and we got burnout. Oh, that's a shock. <laughs> we got exactly the result we engineered. Now, the dream is not just lipstick on a pig, so to speak. Remember, I run a farm, so I can say that. But... To say that we're just doing the EHR as it is today, and we're putting some fire interfaces and maybe a little bit more decision support, not good enough. What I think we need exactly as you described is a complete paradigm shift in the way that medical records are recorded. How about this? A doctor and a patient have a conversation. The computer, of course, with everyone's consent, whether it's audio, video, or both, is recording that conversation. And the end result is through NLP and ML, what you're doing is taking the unstructured conversation, figuring out who said what, putting it into some structured coded form, and then using it for various purposes, whether that's clinical care, research, billing, whatever. Because uh, this idea that the human is transcribing a deep conversation into a set of discrete data elements is not going to get any better. We have to change the paradigm.